Now then, how are you doing? I hope you're well. In this video, I'd like to give you a few little tips on how to improve your perspective. It's a thorny issue for some people. I've seen folks reduced to gibbering wrecks just at the mere mention of the word perspective. There are mathematical elements to the whole business guaranteed to raise anxiety levels. And when it comes to painting buildings, well, then a certain amount of accuracy is required. When I talk to students about perspective, the response is often that they understand all the basic concepts. The problem comes when they try to apply them. Here then is a quick, loose watercolour painting, which has a very strong perspective element to it. Walk down any street in Lisbon, the capital city of Portugal, and you're likely to come across a tram or two. Tram lines, like railway lines, run parallel with each other the whole way, yet we freely accept the way they appear to converge as they get further away from us. The point at which they would meet is what we call a vanishing point. When drawing this out, however, the place to start is by establishing the eye level. This is the key to getting perspective right. Take a look at the side of the tram. If we were to be standing on the right-hand side of the street, looking directly at the tram, the top and bottom of the tram and the top and bottom of the windows would all be running parallel with each other. From our viewpoint, however, the side of the tram is receding away from us. So the back end of the tram appears smaller than the front end. What exactly does this mean? Well, the line along the top of the tram and the windows is above our eye level so it appears to slope downwards. The line along the bottom edge of the tram is below our eye level, so it appears to slope upwards. But take a closer look at the line along the bottom of the windows. Because it falls exactly in line with our eye level, it appears horizontal. If you bear all this in mind then, as you're drawing your scene out, you shouldn't go too far wrong. Establish your eye level first, then follow the simple rules. If it's above the eye level, it must slope downwards. If it's below, it must slope upwards. If it coincides with the eye level, then it will always appear as a horizontal line. The good news is, the same rules apply to the buildings. This is buildings, fast and loose. Nothing more than a watercolour sketch, in fact. It could use a little finesse, but even in a sketch, the perspective still needs to be correct. Providing your initial pencil guidelines are sloping in the right direction, it should hopefully all make visual sense.
if identifying the eye level is the secret to getting perspective right, how do you work out where to put it? Well, if you're working from a photograph, then look out for figures or doorways. These will give you visual hints as to where the eye level should be. If you're out on location, well, it's even easier. Stick out your finger and point directly ahead. Swing your arm from right to left, keeping it at a steady height. The line you're drawing in the air is your eye level. Well, I hope that was helpful to you. Remember, that's your eye level. Until next time, take care.